Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Fumi from Ibado, Nigeria. If you are new here, welcome. And just in case you are not new, you are also welcome. On this channel, I film about relationship, lifestyle, faith, and every other thing in between. So if this is your first time of watching and you're interested in any of these things I just listed, please hit the subscribe button down below. Subscribe, 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 and make sure you turn on your post notification so that you can get to see my videos when they are up. Thank you. Without further ado, guys, let's jump right into today's video. Today, guys, I actually want to talk about this um, issue of um, saying blocking people is immature. You know, I, I've, I've heard that stuff a lot. You know, I see people tell me, I see people saying it, I see it on social media. Like, yo, blocking people is immature. Da da da. My dear, blocking people is not immature. Anyways, this is actually my own opinion, and I am going to give you reasons why you should. I mean to convince you <laughs> to believe that blocking people is actually not immature like yo i don't get it maybe i'm in a relationship with someone for instance and uh, now that we are broken up and i'm trying so hard to move on and it's really difficult for me like i can't be seeing your pictures for instance seeing your pictures seeing your status now that you know we have whatsapp remember i'm filming from nigeria so whatsapp is more or less like our day-to-day -day, this thing like i feel like an average nigerian does a mobile phone as whatsapp on the phone and on whatsapp you get to see people's status you get to see stuff like that like you if you really can't cope with it block them off don't don't get them mixed up see don't try to form any maturity don't try to claim that oh i'm a bigger person oh i'm going to be the bigger person oh i'm this da 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 my dear block them off if need be you don't get it we're talking about your mental health here. See, I'm a kind of person that if I have a misunderstanding with someone, for instance, a misunderstanding now, hmm, and it is really getting at me, and at that moment, I'm not so comfortable seeing you. Trust me, I will block you. Sincerely speaking, like, I'm saying it is my full chest. I know how I block people. I don't want to know what is going on with you. I will block you to protect my mental health because last, last, it is me before you don't you get it the bible said love your neighbor as you love yourself that means you must have actually loved yourself for you to want to love your neighbor so if you are not protecting your mental health like i don't get it why? i feel like in all that you do you come first so yes if blocking people is going to give you that joy go ahead and do it sincerely speaking <laughs> you know when i see people saying you have to learn to live with it live with what live with something that actually traumatized me live with something that make me really scared Live with something that gets me really worried. Live with something that gets me all worked up. No, dear. No, bro. No, sis. I am not about to live with stuff like that. Sincerely speaking, I am going to do myself that huge favor of blocking you off. There is absolutely nothing wrong with blocking people. If you are not comfortable with it, see, don't you get how this thing works? If you have my phone number, for instance, you are automatically a part of my life. You get it right and see i believe that we don't really have to have a fight for me to block people or for me to restrict people if i don't want you to see a part of my life then i shut you off maybe we should start using that word shut off shutting people off there is absolutely nothing wrong with that <laughs> don't you get it like this is there's something i do on my um whatsapp if um i'm meeting you for the first time um we happen to like exchange contact and of course i have to add you up you know the moment i have your contact and you have mine especially if it's my whatsapp number i'm giving to you you are automatically going to be seeing the part of my life and if i don't want you to see it this is what i do i restrict you from saying those stuff people will tell you oh it's actually immature oh that, that that is because i don't want you to see it i am trying to protect my own privacy i'm trying to protect my space it's okay to actually allow limited number of people into your personal space i don't want to give you an opinion about me i don't want you to say something about me i don't want you to know me so it's okay that's 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 the p here let me quickly give you guys um tell you guys a story i had an issue with a friend um a while ago and guess what i did when it was becoming really hard for me because i would maybe go to my whatsapp see you see your updates stuff like that and i wasn't okay the, the more i was seeing it the more it was actually getting so difficult for me you know i kept remembering what happened and it was really really hurting me guess what i did i blocked I blocked. <laughs> I used to, I used to the block button. Why do you think 
those that made mobile phone made this application give us block button because they are telling you that at any point in time if you're not comfortable with someone watching you or you watching someone then you block them off i blocked and when i realized that i had healed like i was no longer in that this thing i'd gotten over everything one that was okay you know i knew it within me that okay i, I feel like i'm actually okay. not even feel like i was genuinely okay then i unblocked sincerely speaking and if you don't want to block you mute you mute people from seeing a part of you and if it's on any other social media platform like your instagram block them off yes <laughs> people don't get it there is absolutely nothing wrong with blocking people off you do something that i don't like i block you off i much i mute you like it is that simple i restrict you from seeing a part of me that is it protecting one's mental health is very very important so trust me if blocking people is your own method go ahead and do it i remember a long time ago not really long time a while ago you know i was talking to someone um let me quickly ship this in i've got a page on instagram it's open up underscore where i discuss relationship lifestyle fun and every other thing in between and you know this lady came to me was telling me about um a boyfriend how oh, she's outbroken and all that da 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 Can you come? long story long story and you know while we were talking i was trying to like okay why and where are you guys now like you guys to communicate and she was like they are not communicating but she's got friends that like they have mutual friends that won't stop bringing the guy like maybe when she goes out with her friends she sees this guy and it's really really hot in her like she kept remembering the past i'm like sis do you really want to hear the truth stay away from those friends see as hard as that might probably sound at that moment that is what you need i told her stay away from the mutual friends and um, she was like because i told her to block him off first of all like if you are really not okay if it's really she said there is no time she would see him posting pictures that she would not start crying because it breaks her heart which is quite understandable so i'm like block him off which she did so she thought she was healing you know trying to hang out with friends until she would go out and it would be there and she wasn't comfortable i'm like it is simple for now stay away from those mutual friends simple she complains how they would upload pictures you know catching fun meanwhile she was still grieving sure you get it and the guy had already moved on i'm like fine it's okay for him to move on faster than you it's absolutely okay so you cannot blame him for that the only thing you should blame yourself for is seeing it if you are not okay with seeing the progress of it's moving on if you're not okay with those stuff then stay away from it simple people will probably tell you to learn to live with it my dear you do not have to force yourself to live with something that you cannot live with life is that simple <laughs> i feel like life is actually hard for you to not be making it harder for yourself so you have to try as much as possible to make it simple so i told her those mutual friends of yours stay away from them you see that whatsapp status that they keep posting posting his pictures stuff like that is growth my sister mute them for now till you are okay it is when you are there mentally that you cannot begin to watch it see i'm not about to give people i'm not about to start telling people to force themselves to witness something like oh just try it try to get used to it my sister you don't have to get used to it when you can avoid it so yes avoid anything that threatens you mentally avoid anything that threatens you emotionally and if those things if avoiding those things means you have to mute restrict or block then go ahead and do it <laughs> go ahead and do what and do it you see that block button i'm of the opinion that those that created it created it for a reason so it's actually okay to block people off then the other side of it is those that probably see people's post on social media and keep complaining lamenting oh this person has posted again oh this person is doing this oh really like i i, I don't get it are you are you are you, are you normal where well, you can easily block the person so if you're not okay with someone's lifestyle or what someone is doing block them off <laughs> it's that simple like don't just stay there complaining when you can actually make use of the block button I think you get my point. With that being said, guys, I think I have convinced and not confused you that blocking people off is actually okay. Like, it's absolutely okay. There is nothing wrong with that. And thank you so much for watching this video because I have officially come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Drop your comments. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share with as many people as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video.
Be sure to come back again next week, Saturday. And on Tuesday, for another Bangalistic video from your girl. Thank you once again for watching. Do have a great day. Good.